Hi, everyone, nice to see you in AppGeeker channel. In today's video, we're going to show you a couple of ways to transfer photos and videos from a Mac to an iPhone. In today's world, people love to capture every moment of their lives through photos. And sometimes we need to transfer photos from Mac to iPhone so that we can take the best memories with us everywhere. So to make things easier, we're going to discuss the three quickest ways for batch photo transfer, keep watching to find the most efficient one that works best for you. Alright, the first approach I want to show you is the auto-sync method, which is to use the iCloud photos. Let's say your Mac and iPhone are signed with the same Apple account, then you'll find it quite simple to transfer photos from your Mac to iPhone if iCloud photos is enabled. It basically auto-syncs all your photos across devices so that you can access any picture on your Mac from your iPhone wirelessly. The process is very quick and easy, the only thing you need to do is to enable the iCloud photos on both your devices. Alright, make sure your Mac and iPhone are both connected to internet as it's all based on cloud sync. Okay, firstly, let's start with Mac. Alright, here, on the Mac desktop, open the Photos app. If it's not on your desktop, you can find it in the launch pad. And then from the top left corner, go to Photos, and then Settings. If you're using an older macOS version, it should be Photos, and then Preferences here. Now, from the iCloud tab, select the checkbox next to iCloud Photos. As you can see here, it allows you to automatically upload and store your photos and videos to iCloud so that you can easily access them on any of your devices, including your iPhone and iPad. Also, if you want to create albums to share with your friends or family, the Share Albums option can help you. So, once you set up the iCloud photos on Mac, time to do the same on your iPhone. Open the Settings app and tap on your device name. Select iCloud, then Photos. Now, you're on the iCloud Photos screen right here. This step could be a little bit different depending on your iOS version. So if your device updates to iOS 16 or later, just like mine, you will see the Sync This iPhone option. Simply toggle it on. Or, for iOS 15 and earlier, you should see iCloud Photos option and just enable it. Okay, when it's done, just wait for iCloud to sync your photos, after that, you'll be able to access all your photos on your iPhone in the Photos Library. However, it may take some time and much cloud space if you have a large photo library. The iCloud actually offers 5GB of free cloud storage for each Apple account. When you run out of it, you'll have to make a monthly subscription to iCloud Plus for more available space, or simply use an alternative way that doesn't require internet or cloud storage. And don't worry, we have you covered. Let's move to the next method, the iPhone data transfer from AppGeeker. Some of you may already know it, as it earns a good reputation in the field of managing and transferring files to or from iOS devices. All right, let's see how efficient it could be. So I will share the download link in the video description below so that you can install it in on your Mac in the first place. All right, then run the app on your Mac and follow the options in the home screen to connect your iPhone. If needed, unlock your iPhone and tap the trust option to let your Mac read your iPhone. All right, then, you can easily locate the Photos option from the left sidebar, click on it and you will see all the photos on your iPhone by categories. From here, you can manage the pictures in your camera roll as well as the albums in your photo library. To move your photos from Mac to iPhone, now click on the Add button at the top. Then select Files or Folder to import photos to your iPhone. Whether specific pictures or an entire photo folder, it transfers them all from your Mac to iPhone seamlessly, as quick as copy and paste. You can even do that by dragging and dropping the files to the window. See? It's quite easy, so, if you want to move your photos and videos from Mac to iPhone or the other around, feel free to click the link below to try it yourself now. There will be no more worries about running out of your iCloud space again. Okay, if you prefer a wired transfer, then the traditional finder way is a good option for you. 
So in the first step, connect your iPhone with Mac using a USB cable. The Finder window should jump out automatically. If not, manually open it on your desktop. Alright, once your computer detects your device, the phone icon shows up here. Click on it to go on. From option bar at the top, select the Photos tab. Now, pick the checkbox next to sync photos to your device from. And from the source list, select the folder that contains the photos you want to get onto your iPhone. Under it, you will the sync option. Select all folders, all pictures and subfolders will be synced from your Mac to iPhone entirely. Or else, click selected folders to move only a selection of your photo library from your Mac. If there are videos, choose include videos as well. When you're ready, click on sync or apply button to begin syncing. The process may take much time depending on the file size and the number of the items. And here's a warning tip that, syncing with Finder will erase the current photos on your iPhone. The synced files will replace the pictures that are previously stored on your device. So, to avoid data loss, it's better to use the iCloud Photos or iPhone data transfer to import your photos without overwriting. Alright, that's the three efficient ways to help you transfer your photos and videos from your Mac to iPhone easily. Simply choose any of them to get the job done. Feel free to leave a comment, let me know whether it helps. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe for more tech tricks.